Hello everyone, I am Harish Nadrajan from Havia Technologies. The following demonstration is a preview demo of our product called Havia HRMS which is a human resources management system. The first screen is usually the login form based on your relevant credentials the users can log into the application. I am going to right now log in as an administrator. The home page of the application is basically an employee master information. It shows all the employee details which are currently entered into the system. First thing that you need to do is to set up your company information in the HRMS. Since I have already done that, I will be guiding you the, through the same. I have entered Javier Technologies and I can also set up the various divisions and the departments within the company. For example, I have entered a development division and a sales department for Javier Technologies. After you have set up the company, you can set up the various job titles that are relevant for your company. I have set up two job titles, one that of a project manager who will be managing the projects and that of a developer who will be developing the code etc. You can set up as many job titles as per relevant to your organization. After setting up the job titles, you can also set up the pay grades. Pay grades are nothing but the range of salary structures for a specific job title. For example, you are setting up a pay grade which has a minimum salary of X dollars and a maximum salary of Y dollars and for every performance review what will be the step increase. Once you specify this and assign a job title to that specific pay grade then automatically these conditions take into effect. You can also set up the qualification master, the education details, the skill master, the various certifications etc and any kind of memberships that are available, the nationality of the associate and you can also create users for all the associates from this particular screen. There are basically three types of users, the admin, the normal user and the HR admin user. The admin controls all the functional modules, the normal user has privileges only to their functional screen modules. The HR admin can view the normal admin users functional modules. You can also set up email notifications as an employee is created an email can be sent to his email inviting him to log into the application. The next thing is you can set up projects. For example, I have set up my company's customer is Microsoft and I have created a project under Microsoft called Issue Log for the purpose of showing this demonstration. And you can also import and export data into Excel format from this particular tool. So these are the various master information that you have the privilege for. Now let us go into the basic employee detail screen. If you click an associate detail screen, it will have the various details like personal details, contact details. You can also have the dependencies. You can store the job details of the associate and you can store store the skill details, the leave details, etc. So all the complete information of an associate can be stored here. 
Now the first main part is completed. We have set up a company, we have set up a company structure, we have added associates into the company. Now what are the other things that we would want to do when we want to manage employees? First and foremost thing is we want to set up a reporting structure. Why do we want to set up a reporting structure? Based on the reporting structure, the leave management is properly handled. The timesheet approval process is properly handled and subsequently the performance review is properly handled. So the first and foremost basic important thing is to set up the reporting structure. If you look carefully here, there is a tab called report 2. In this, you can specify the current associate is reporting to which supervisor. Once you save this information, the entire workflow totally gets integrated into the system. Let me explain. Now we have two employees here. Mr. Arun, he is supposed to be reporting to Mr. Harish as per the way I have set up in the structure. Suppose Mr. Arun wants to apply for leave. Let us understand what are the basic things that needs to be available for him to go through this leave process. Before an associate can apply for leave, there is a process of setting up the leave master. What is the leave master? If you go to the leave summary and the leave list details, you will see that various leave details of all the associates are listed into the particular system. Once the leave details are listed, the relevant manager can go and update the relevant details. For example, I will show you the leave summary here. Okay. Now, in the leave summary data, what is the most important thing that is required? There are three types of leaves. A paid leave is there, a casual leave is there, and a sick leave is there. Now all these three leaves are the most important things for an associate in a normal way. You can actually specify what is the number of days that the associate is eligible for that category of leave. This is what I call as the leave master. Once this is set up, any employer or an associate can apply for the relevant leave. Okay, so you can now go to the employee login and you can see that the employee can apply for leave. I am going to select casual leave and I am going to click from a certain date to a certain date and I am going to say apply. Okay. Let me select some other days. So the leave request has been successfully submitted. Now you log in as the supervisor. You go into the leave list. You will see there is pending approval. Click on that. So your subordinate has applied for leave and you can approve or reject the leave. In this case I am going to approve the leave and save the record. That's it. Leave management is done. Similarly any associate can enter timesheets. 
they can just go to the timesheet form select the project select the activity they can enter the timesheet for that particular activity so we have covered the leave management the timesheet module and the final thing which is the most important thing is the performance management if you look at the performance management now Mr. Arun is a subordinate of this particular associate so his performance review is listed here the manager can click on a subordinates performance review form and rate his subordinate based on certain KPIs or key performance indicators which are provided and save this rating based on this the performance review of the associate is completed now how does these KPIs come into the picture as an admin you have the relevant privileges to go and enter these key performance indicators for example I have entered a key performance indicator of communication team management for the job title project manager and a key performance indicator of communication and technology for the job title developer similarly you can go on entering as many key performance indicators as you want so if you look at it carefully Harvia HRMS it is not just a data kind of a repository which stores all the details of associates etc it is a thoroughly well-built workforce management system which is the ultimate in human resources management because it removes all the nightmare of tracking the paperwork etc this is a totally paperless environment when it comes to leave management timesheet management performance appraisals etc thanks for providing the opportunity in explaining to all of you about our product if you are interested in knowing further details you can send an email to sales at haviasoft.com or you can visit our website www.haviasoft.com thank you